So if you look at the broader picture, essentially what has happened is that the government is now unable to control the situation. The governance of this country, they are basically unable to handle it. And their incompetence is now coming to the fore. They have messed up the economy. They have messed up the harmony. They have messed up the defense. And they want to keep distracting India with non-events. I am saying that the country is in a dangerous position. I am seeing that the world is in flux. I am seeing that we have a aggressive China on the border. They have a clear vision of what they want to achieve. We do not have one. We are completely unclear about what we want to achieve. And it is dangerous for the country. When you have a situation on the border like this, you are destroying your economic structure, you are weakening your economic strength, it is dangerous for the country. Like I said in February, COVID is dangerous for the country. I was ridiculed. I am saying it again. The conditions that we are going through are dangerous for the country. The country requires the Prime Minister to take strict, quick action. It requires that the Prime Minister puts money immediately into the hands of our people and starts the economy. It requires that he protects the small and medium businesses who give us jobs. None of that is happening. And it requires, sorry, a clear message to China that you cannot do this with us. You cannot be sitting inside our land and expect that nothing is going to happen. This country is lacking leadership. There is no leadership in this country anymore. There is just talk. There is no understanding. There is no strategy. The thing has come apart. Now of course, what is there is a media that is controlled. And so, the reality of what is going on has not, is, not, is not coming out. But believe me, that Maya is going to break. Somebody is going to break that Maya, Maya. And so my constant request to the Prime Minister is do your job. Do your job. You've been elected to do your job. Your job is not to sell this country to 1% of the population. That's not your job. Your job is to protect the Kisans who are standing outside. That's your job. Go hold their hand. Give them a hug and tell them, what is it that I can do for you? Your job is to make sure that small and medium businesses can compete with China. Talk to them. Ask them. Because they have the answer to China. So the Prime Minister has basically given up. He is now on a different plane. He's got a beard and that we are going somewhere else now. And the country is not being run. And it's my request to the Prime Minister, please gather up your courage and run the country.